Do you ever start your morning with a bowl of oatmeal? It's warm, comforting, and packed with health benefits. But aside from being a convenient meal for breakfast, did you know that oatmeal could play a big role in fighting cancer? We'll talk about that as we explore the oatmeal experiment that's changing cancer research. In this video, we'll discuss the nutrients in oatmeal, their health benefits, and what scientists are learning about its link to breast and colon cancer. Plus, we'll share some ways to add more oatmeal to your diet to stay healthy. So, let's get started. First, let's answer the question, what makes oatmeal so special? Oats are packed with two key ingredients that scientists are very excited about, beta-glucan and avananthramides. Those words might sound tricky, but let's break them down. Beta-glucan is a type of fiber that not only helps with digestion, but also goes beyond that. It helps protect your body from diseases and boost your overall health. On the other hand, avanonthromides are antioxidants, which work like little superheroes in your body, fighting off harmful substances called free radicals. Free radicals can damage your cells and may lead to cancer, so having antioxidants is really important for keeping your body healthy. These two ingredients are the secret to why scientists are so interested in oatmeal. They believe these powerful nutrients could help stop cancer from forming and help keep your body strong against cancer. Now let's dive into how oatmeal can help fight cancer. Oatmeal helps protect your body in a few important ways. First, it helps reduce inflammation. Inflammation is your body's way of protecting itself, like when you scrape your knee and it gets red and swollen. But sometimes, inflammation happens inside your body, even if you can't see or feel it. If it sticks around too long, it can start harming your cells and may lead to serious health problems, like cancer. The antioxidants in oatmeal, particularly avanonthramides, help reduce inflammation. A study in the journal Foods found that oats can lower inflammation in the body, which is important because reducing inflammation also lowers the risk of cancer. Next, oatmeal boosts your immune system, which is like your body's defense team, fighting off germs and keeping you healthy. But it also helps protect you from cancer. Beta-glucan, the special fiber in oats, strengthens immune cells called macrophages, helping them find and destroy cancer cells before they grow. A study in the Journal of Hematology and Oncology found that beta-glucan helps the immune system recognize and attack cancer cells. So, by eating oatmeal, you're giving your immune system extra strength to fight off cancer. Oatmeal also helps protect your gut. You've probably heard that fiber is good for digestion, but it can do even more. Oatmeal is packed with fiber, and studies show that eating a high-fiber diet can lower your chances of getting colorectal cancer, which affects the colon. According to the American Institute for Cancer Research, AICR, for every 10 grams of fiber you eat, your risk of colorectal cancer drops by 7%. That's a significant impact. Lastly, it fights free radicals. Remember those antioxidants we talked about earlier? They're super important because they help fight something called free radicals. Free radicals are tiny particles that can damage your cells and DNA. If they damage too many cells, it can lead to cancer. Oatmeal's avananthramides are really good at stopping free radicals in their tracks. A study published in Food and Function found that the antioxidants in oatmeal could protect your cells from this kind of damage. This means that oatmeal doesn't just fill you up in the morning, it could also be protecting your healthy cells from becoming cancerous. Now let's talk about the connection of oatmeal to breast cancer. Did you know that oatmeal can help protect women from breast cancer? Scientists have been studying how oatmeal and other whole grains could lower the risk of getting this kind of cancer. A study in the journal Nutrients found that women who ate more whole grains, like oatmeal, had a lower chance of developing breast cancer. This has a lot to do with a hormone called estrogen. Estrogen is important for our bodies, but having too much of it can sometimes lead to breast cancer. The fiber in oatmeal helps keep this hormone in balance by getting rid of extra estrogen in the body. Removing excess estrogen lowers the chances of cancer growing. Many experts suggest eating more oatmeal and other whole grains as an easy way to help lower your risk of breast cancer. Just having a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast 
can be a small, simple change that helps your health in a big way. Now let's discuss the connection of oatmeal to colon cancer. Colon cancer is one of the most common cancers in the world, but there's some good news. Eating oatmeal might help lower the risk of getting it. Colon cancer starts in the large intestine where food is broken down. One reason people get colon cancer is because they don't eat enough fiber. Oatmeal has lots of fiber, which is good for keeping your stomach and intestines healthy. Fiber acts like a broom, cleaning out harmful substances from your digestive system. This is important because if bad stuff stays in your body for too long, it can cause problems, like cancer. Oatmeal solves this problem by helping move food through your system faster, so harmful substances don't have much time to cause damage. A study from Harvard Medical School found that people who ate whole grains, like oats, had a lower risk of colon cancer. Dr. Sun, a professor from Harvard, says that an easy way to add more whole grains to your meals is by mixing them in slowly. For example, make a sandwich with one slice of whole wheat bread and one regular slice. Or when you're having rice, use a mix that's at least half brown rice. Moreover, oatmeal also helps feed the good bacteria in your gut. These good bacteria are like tiny helpers that keep your digestion working well. When they are strong and healthy, your body is better at fighting off bad germs. Eating oatmeal also makes sure you have regular bowel movements, which means you go to the bathroom more regularly. Going to the bathroom regularly prevents constipation, which can cause more problems for your digestive system. Scientists are still learning more about how oatmeal can totally stop colon cancer, but they know that its fiber and other good stuff help keep your digestive system working well. Now that you know how amazing oatmeal is for your health, let's dive into some fun and easy ways to include more of it in your meals. One simple option is to enjoy a warm bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. You can make it even tastier by adding fruits like bananas, berries, or apples. A sprinkle of cinnamon or a drizzle of honey on top will turn it into a delicious, nutritious start to your day. If mornings are busy for you, overnight oats are a great solution. Just mix oats with milk or yogurt, toss in some fruit and nuts, and leave it in the fridge overnight. By the time you wake up, you'll have a ready-made meal packed with fiber and nutrients. For something a little different, try blending oats into your smoothies. Just toss in a handful of oats with your favorite ingredients like berries, yogurt, and a splash of milk. This adds creaminess and boosts the fiber content, keeping you energized and satisfied for longer. You can even turn oats into snacks. Whip up some oatmeal cookies or homemade granola bars by mixing oats with peanut butter, honey, and a few chocolate chips. These treats are perfect for a quick, healthy snack on the go, and they're much better for you than most store-bought options. So, what's next for oatmeal research? Oatmeal research is still evolving. Scientists are now exploring different types of oats and how they're processed to determine if certain kinds offer more cancer-fighting benefits. For example, steel-cut oats are less processed than instant oats, so they may retain more nutrients. There's also ongoing research into how oats could complement cancer treatments. Some scientists believe that combining oatmeal's nutrients with traditional cancer therapies could help patients recover more quickly or respond better to treatment. However, while oatmeal is beneficial for most people, there are a few things to keep in mind. Some individuals may be sensitive to oats, especially those with celiac disease or gluten intolerance. Although oats themselves don't contain gluten, they can be processed in facilities that handle gluten-containing grains, leading to cross-contamination. If you have concerns, it's always a good idea to consult your doctor before making significant changes to your diet. And there you have it. How eating oatmeal can help protect against cancers like colorectal and breast cancer. We hope you found this video both helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to our channel for more health tips and information. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss our latest content. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Do you have any tips for making oatmeal a regular part of your routine? Share your thoughts or tips in the comments below. Your suggestions are highly valued and can be a great source of inspiration for our community. And if this video has helped you, please consider sending us a super thanks 
Your support helps us continue bringing valuable health information to you. Also, be sure to check out our merchandise for some cool items. Thanks for watching, take care of your health, and we'll see you next time.